Catherine, the Princess of Wales, is allegedly missing. Where is the princess? Where is Catherine? Everybody's looking for Catherine. All these rumors coming out. Oh my gosh, she, he's, she's in a coma. She had a mental breakdown. William's cheating on her with the skinny girl. All kind of stuff that's going on. So I decide I wanted to do a video on it because when I first hear she's going to be missing, she has surgery. I'm, I'm like, okay, listen, y'all, as women and women of a certain age, our bodies change. So when they say she was having surgery, I was like, well, okay, she's having surgery and she'll be back by Easter. Now, if Easter comes and Catherine don't show up, then we, we you know, then we can start wondering what's going on with Catherine. So I want to, I found an article on Reddit and I'm like, this is exactly how I feel because it's like every day the story change about where Catherine is. Is she in a coma? Is she having surgery? Is she, where is the girl, the princess? All right, happy Saturday. Uh, thank you for your love and support. The Husband Profile course starts very soon in a couple of weeks. Oh, I have one-on-ones all day today. So if you want to take the Husband Profile course, be sure to email me. I want to thank you for all of our new cousins. Welcome. Shout out. Be sure to grab your sample off the Dayton's for Data, Husband Profile, and, and, and the Leah in me. Leah in me is really close to my heart. I'm really going to write a full out book about the uh, the Leah in me. Be sure to subscribe, thumbs up, and thank you. And shout out to all of our new cousins. Where is Catherine, the Princess of Wales? And so there, every day is a, is a different story. You know, so when I first heard it, I'm like, okay, she's having surgery. And I thought, you know, maybe she's having, um, what's the surgery where women have their baby making parts taken out and you know Catherine has always had really bad morning sickness when she's pregnant and um other gynecological issues you know because i was like well what kind of belly stomach <laughs> what kind of belly surgery is she having but then when you think about it as women our bodies go through so much and so much changes. And as we get, cause I'm 46 girl, I'm feeling the changes. I'm feel one month. I'm this way. The next month I'm this way in the next month. And it's all because as women, we get older and our body changes and so on and so forth. So it's all kind of rumors. William's sheet. Not even somebody sent me something that William is abusing her and sent me the picture of, oh, look, she has bruises on her face. And I'm like, well, that looked like two pimples to me. Some women have uh, pimple issues and look at her eyes. And I'm like, well, that looked like discoloration to me. A lot of women, a lot of black women, with the exception of me, has discoloration around, around the eyes. And if William was uh, DV in her, I doubt Catherine would come out the house with black eyes. So it's all kind of rumors. I don't know. It's the girl in the coma or not. But anyways, this is how I felt. And you know, I went to search and Reddit will always answer my question. I love Reddit. K. Milton, Prince William headed for split over a ledge of fear with Rose Hanberry. Okay, so this person says, shout out to, let me expand this so you could see. Shout out to, shout out to, Fippus horribilis. <laughs> this is how I feel. Wait, I thought Catherine was in a coma after she was beaten senselessly by her husband for having bad plastic surgery after she had a breakdown because William went into a rage and somehow caused Thomas Kingston to end his time on this planet. And now she is being institutionalized due to her poor abode skills, abode skills, bringing an end to the thousand year reign of the British royal family. I mean, it's that or she's got some gynecological problems that she doesn't want to discuss with the world and just wants some time to heal and have some privacy. But Ocom's razor and all says the first scenario is probably correct. This is what I'm saying. These are all the things that have come out. Oh, she's in a coma. William beat her. 
she had a mental breakdown because he cheated with Rose. I heard something this morning. The friends are saying she's stressed. And and I get it. I get it. As public people, um, you know, we want to keep up with them and stuff like that. But again, I just think as women, she's they said she had gotten a call out gynecolo well they didn't say that they said she had stomach surgery okay and then the whole picture thinker when i saw the picture of the hand i was like no that's that's not it that 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 was uh that's not a real picture this person said this is so dumb that and they only want to provoke a reaction from kate the rose rumors were fabricated And somebody said, like, Kate will divorce William after going through all this. Kate? Girl, stick it through, whatever it is. We want to see you on the throne. We want to see, well, let me not, look, I want to see Catherine on that throne. Because Diana didn't make it to the throne. We want to see Catherine on the, on, on the throne. We want to see you, Kate, crown as queen. Why can't it be she has surgery and she's recouping? Any of you ladies have ever gotten your lady parts taken out? I know some of the, the, the girls have had, and they, they have to be home for weeks getting our rest. Six weeks, I think. Six weeks, some of the ladies have. Okay, this person said, Blue Birdie says, that, I've said this before, but I don't really buy this because of Pippa's daughter. I wouldn't be surprised if Will cheated as nearly all royals cheat, but I'd be more likely to buy it was Rose's husband and he was by, which could explain how messy the press was around Rose from the beginning because Marina Hyde, uh, that we're royal racist dude, who now works for GB, all basically insinuated is separately on Twitter when the Rose News first came out versus saying, oh, he's just got a mistress. Marina deleted her tweets. I'm honestly kind of surprised more people haven't brought it up because the GB guy even said, I've heard some fruity stories. <laughs> fruity stories. Even if it was a divorce, it doesn't explain the ambulance. But yeah, I think even a contentious divorce the PR would be better. I still think it's Kate's way, why way way more ill than people know, and Will is handling it very poorly, and the comms team is just letting him put whatever he wants out there. Uh, this person say, I find the idea of Will cheating on Kate reprehensible. He and Harry, Harry's lives were never changed when their father, Prince Charles, at the time cheated on their mother. Princess Diana with Camilla Parker Bowles. Why would he want to put Kate and his own children through that turmoil? The monarchy is fragile enough as it is. I mean, cheat, and it's possible that anybody would cheat, but like I have said, and I will continue to say, and I know you all know how I feel about, um, about uh, adultery, is that the truth is Charles never loved Diana. His true love was Camilla. He wanted to marry Camilla, but the queen wouldn't permit him to marry uh, Camilla, who was divorced and she was out there, right? And, and they had to find this clean little virgin 19 year old girl for Charles to marry. And, and if you listen on the History Channel, Charles never technically he never proposed to um to Diana. Like he didn't want to marry Diana. He didn't love her. He wanted to marry 
uh, Camilla and he's loved Camilla all these years. And so on the History Channel, and I listened to the story, you know, he took her into the, the nursery and he gave her the ring. He just like this and said, she said, yes, because the whole idea was to have royal blood like William and, and Kate. It wasn't for him, for Charles to be in love because he loved Camilla. He never loved Diana. So as much as I love Diana, Camilla was his true love. Granted, I'm not saying I'm okay with adultery. I'm not. Once you sign the paper, but if you understand the history, you know, it, it, it kind of makes sense to you. And and William was a force to marry Kate, right? He was a force to marry. I hope he's not committing adultery on Kate because that would just be just terrible. And like this person said, see what Diana went through with you, with, with Charles cheating on her with Camilla, but Charles never loved Diana. He just married her to have the kids. That's it. He never loved her. And probably never wanted her to be queen. So technically, the love of his life is ruling and reigning with him. But again, with this whole Kate thing, I'm just going to go with she had surgery. She's rec recouping. And we'll see her after Easter. And I just hope William <clears throat> wouldn't be so heartless to cheat on his wife and those three beautiful babies. And yesterday or the day before, they celebrated uh, Princess Diana, Char uh, I was about to say chariot, charity. Well, guess what Meghan Markle did on the same day William was giving his speech? Honey, she launched her home whatever. Oh, I'm selling jams and furniture and sheets and blanket. That attention-seeking trash of a Jezebel woman. Why can't Princess Diana just have her day? Why can't be just about her? Why you got to open up your Jezebel mouth? Oh, I'm going to be selling jams and sheets and blanket. No, ho, shut your mouth. Let, let them celebrate Princess Diana on her day and her charity and give out the rewards awards. Harry, please hurry up and get rid of this Jezebel, please. I just, I just can't. I just can't. And go to counseling. Go to counseling. You and your brother, you and William. But you know what? I'm not mad at William because when you see Jezebel trying to straw at the throne, you got cut everything off. Keep the heifer away from the throne. She thinks she's going to get on there. Anyways, let me go, child. I have a mentoring session at 8 o'clock. I got to go. Let me know what y'all think. I just, Catherine is in sur I had surgery, and she's recouping. That's it. If April come, Easter, Easter service, we don't see Catherine. Or they said after Easter, we don't see Catherine, then we I'm going to sound the alarm too. But I, I'm just going to take it as she had surgery. Excuse me. All right, boo-boo, I got to go. It's almost 8 o'clock and I have to do one-on-ones all day. The Husband Profile course starts. Email me if you want to sign up. Love you. Bye.